Hi guys, Mark again. I uh, just wanted to post uh, one last video, at least on this rig, about some problems that developed uh, in the course of the last few weeks as far as hashing goes. Uh, first and foremost, after it would hash for about a half day, maybe a little bit longer, it would inexplicably crash, or one of the GPUs would uh, get sick or would be dead, um, wouldn't reboot, uh, the miner wouldn't start up. It was just a myriad of different problems. Um, Tried uninstalling drivers, reinstalling. Tried uninstalling drivers. Tried some beta drivers. Tried some legacy drivers. Um, did not fix the problem. And then I caught the latest episode on Bits Be Trippin'. Um, Carter and them have got an awesome channel on YouTube. Check it out. Um, they had set their power tune on a similar rig to Power Tune 30. Now, I didn't know the power tune setting in the config file could be set to 30. I thought the max was 20. Set it to 30, my problems went away wonderfully. Um, right now, I've got the rig at idle. Um, everything's nice and quiet. The uh, It's only pulling about 120 watts. It's um, wonderful. Um, another thing that came up was during when I was really hashing and everything was up and going, started to smell a slight... Burning smell, hot smell. Um, oddly enough, it smelled like uh, like fish, tuna. Uh, like somebody was cooking a, a grill a tuna sandwich or something like that. Um, a little tie low sideways. Stuck my, my, my nose in the middle of that rig. Looked for burn spots. Could not smell anything, see anything, that kind of deal. Uh, seemed to go away. I'm like, all right, well, I'll just leave it alone. Smell came back. I'm like, okay, I got to investigate. Found that the smell was actually coming from the plug. See that nice little burn spot? That is the indication of a plug that is failing. Um, that plug got uh, nice and firecracker hot. You can see the burn or the melted spot, um, bad juju. Uh, so, opened it all up, found this. This was the culprit. Um, whoever had wired the house before uh, when they installed this wire, uh, they're supposed to twist these wires all together in the box. They just kind of put them all together and then put a wire net over them. So, um, this part right here was what was attached to the plug. And it melted off insulation from about here all the way down to there. Could have been big, bad issue, problem. Um, thankfully, we found it. Uh, as I said, I'm an electrician by trade. So I went ahead and changed out the plug to a 20 amp plug. The wiring in there was all 12 gauge, so it'll handle 20, a 20 amp plug. Uh, easiest way to tell that it's 20 amp is that little sideways kind of slot in the plug. Um, installed this, wired it all up, plugged it in, haven't had a problem. No more smell, awesome. Uh, another thing that I went ahead and did, I went ahead and bought a, uh, just a, you know, little reset slash power button. Um, got it off eBay. Um, I want to say it was like 10, 12 bucks, that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> looks a little cleaner than what I had previously, which was that. Um, I robbed it off of a tower I had lying around. I mean, you know, I had the cables and stuff. It got me going, got me running, but <clears throat> didn't want to... Look like a bad. I didn't want it to look like a bastard creation, so I went ahead and got that that nice little reset button. Um, let's see here. All right, let's go. I've gone ahead and gone to Doge Mining per um, the recommendation of uh, Carter and the guys over at Bitsby Trippin. Um, they uh, recommend it. Uh, things are starting to go more toward ASIC miners. There's more uh, ASIC miners that are coming out for this type of mining, so things are going to start getting interesting very, very soon. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start with the Doge Miner. And uh, I'm going to let everything get kind of warmed up, and uh, then I'll come back. And we're back. Um, everything's up and going. i got my auxiliary cooling running. Um, fan noise, of course, is a little louder, but um, isn't unbearably loud, which is kind of what I like about a rig like this. There are nine 270 cards. Um, they only use the 6-pin instead of the 8-pin connector. Don't draw near as much power, and so they're a little quieter. Um, anyway, as you can see on the hashing, um, 
Uh, rings hashing at about 485. Now the one that's designated as GPU number 3 sometimes will drop about 5%. I tried swapping around the cables and and swapping around GPUs and uh, cannot locate the problem. It's not any specific it's not any specific port in the motherboard. It's not any specific cable. It's not any specific GPU. It's just whatever the computer designates as GPU number 3. Um, so that's obviously a software issue. I might try reinstalling Windows if I get really, really bored. But right now it's up in hashing and doing good. Now something else I wanted to mention was I've got everything running off of that single 1275 watt uh, thermal tape uh, power supply. Uh, right now it's running good, um, but I'm pulling about 1160, 40, 60 watts. So we'll say about 1150 watts. Now I typically like to use the rule of thumb of uh, don't use your power supply at more than 80% of what it's rated. Um, makes your power supply last longer and uh, you'll, I, you're less likely to have electrical issues. Um, so I've got a second power supply that I'll hook up but I just wanted to sh demonstrate for the purpose of this video that you can run a six card system uh, hashing at about about 2.9 mega hashes um, with one power supply. Now it's a good power supply. Um, it's got a seven year warranty. I think it's got like a gold standard on New Egg. So um, a very good, solid, stable power supply. But still, I'm probably going to go ahead and add a second power supply and go from there. But uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. And also, I'll go ahead and post my my config file settings in uh, the notes below. Uh, thank you very much.